I am literally making a video because I'm hungry and want to eat this food and I can't eat it until I make a video about it and so I'm going to make a video. I am so sorry for how slack I've been about making videos, but it's because I'm taking classes, I'm starting a new job, and earlier this year I was sick. I got I got some kind of a bug. Is there something going around? I don't really watch the news, so I don't know. I don't know if something's going around or not, but I got really sick for a while. And, um, but I'm all better now. And, uh, so that's going well. But anyway, I received a wonderful gift at Christmas and I'm, I must apologize to my dear friend and family member, Jack Squatch, for taking this long to finally get around to reviewing this very special gift that he gave me. In fairness, I couldn't taste food for a while. So that was part of it that I actually asked him to give to me. He told me about these things and I said, hey, won't you give me some of them? And then at Christmas, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, he got me some of them. What do I speak of? I'm talking about Seven Farms pickled Japaleno quail eggs. Now I looked these up online and they make several varieties. My dear, dear blood kin Jack Squatch told me that these are his favorite and based on what I saw, they're gonna be my favorite too. As far as I know, I've never had a quail egg before. I like eggs. I'd like to get into eating duck eggs. I don't know if I've had one of them either, but I bet I'd like it. He told me he really likes these. You can see up in there, See, there's peppers and jalapeno. Let me see what the ingredients say. There is no way. I couldn't have read these ingredients a hundred years ago without some eyewear. These are, these are drugstore glasses, by the way. It contains quail eggs, water, distilled vinegar, water, pickled jalapenos, water, vinegar, salt, and calcium chloride, sweet bell peppers, salt, dehydrated garlic, and crushed red pepper. So you got red pepper in there, garlic. I'm not sure why it said water five times and salt. It was like repeating. I don't know why it was repeating ingredients, but it did. Like I said, I've never had these. Let's get in there. Ooh, the pop of freshness. Pull one out here. There's a little, there's a little quail egg. Now it smells vinegary like a pickled egg would. See, it's real flat on the bottom where probably the air bubble got in the shell. Man, I bet it's hard to boil and shell eggs that small. It's very smooth. Man, <laughs> I, it's making my mouth water because I'm so sure I'm going to like this. I like pickled eggs, pickled chicken eggs. This is my first quail egg. Let's see how it goes. Mm. First, it's, it's got some real heat to it. If you don't like real heat, I would go to one of the other flavors because this is the kind of thing where, first off, it's delicious. I could see myself overdoing it on these because my first thought is I could eat this whole jar right now. It is delicious. He mentioned to me, and this is a good explanation for it, you bite into it and the inside is very creamy. There are tastes that you'll be familiar with. There are tastes that are different. And then the heat of the jalapeno is there and the flavor of the sweet red peppers also. I'm gonna grab another and I'm gonna bite this one in half so I can get a look and show you what the inside looks like. There you go. That one's a little browner than a lot of eggs. Some of these are whiter, some of these are browner. Maybe just the amount of vinegar it's absorbed. Okay. I mean, look there. One of the reasons it's creamy is because there's not much white. This has a lot less egg white, these do anyway, than a typical chicken egg. And so you get right through that. You know how the outside of a pickled egg kind of toughens up. Well, this is so thin, almost the entire white has that little bit of toughness. 
Then you get right into the yolk and that's very creamy and delicious. And the flavors from the outside have gotten all the way inside. That's another thing too. A lot of times with a pickled egg, a pickled chicken egg, by the time you get to the inside, it just tastes like a boiled egg. It hasn't absorbed a flavor that deep. This seems like the whole egg has absorbed the flavor. And that's, I like that. I really need to try other flavors of this because I don't know how much I'm really being able to tell the difference between a quail egg and a chicken egg or how much difference there is as far as the flavor of the egg itself because the vinegar, the peppers are imparting a lot of flavor on their own. What I would say about this now is the oddest, th this would be a ridiculous uh, comparison or analogy, but for me, the perfect size of a Reese's cup is Reese's miniatures. When I, the big regular two pack of Reese's, when I was a kid, I didn't even want those things. To me, it's awkward and the distribution of flavor is incorrect. For some reason, a Reese's miniature, it's the perfect size. You pop the whole thing in your mouth at one time and it's the perfect distribution of chocolate and peanut butter. This is a pickled egg miniature. So if you like a big old chicken egg that's been pickled, I like a big old chicken egg that's been pickled, but this is the perfect size to just pop the whole thing in my mouth. It's got less egg white, more egg yolk, and the egg yolk itself is creamier, has a better texture, and I think a better flavor, but definitely has more flavor because it's absorbed the flavor of the vinegar and the peppers, and it's just good. I literally have to be careful. I, it's like, I'm going to go nuts and eat the whole thing. What I'm doing now is I'm going to dig down deep and just get a little bit of, get one of the peppers. The pepper tastes like an egg and the egg is hotter than the pepper. So it's, it's completely melded. The flavors have melded and I'm going to eat one more. I'm going to make myself stop. Okay, that is good. I don't know why I've never seen these. Jack Squatch told me he gets these at Walmart, I think. It's like, why does their Walmart have this and mine doesn't? I've never seen these anywhere. And all I can say is, if you like pickled eggs, you should try pickled quail eggs because that was delicious. Subscribe if you like the channel or if you haven't already. Leave comments if you have anything to say. But definitely, if you have a like button handy, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, hit that like button for me. YouTube has made that way more important than it should be. And it's annoying because I don't like hitting like buttons all the time. But now I feel like I have to because I want to help the channels that I watch. So if it's not too much trouble, hit that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. And I'll see you next time I'm putting something delicious in my mouth. Thanks a lot.